Hi, I'm Colin Tennant, a canine behaviourist and a dog trainer. I have been in practice for over three decades and established the first purpose-built canine behaviour centre in Britain to help assess dogs in an environment built with space and room for the dog's well-being. I believe that dogs which misbehave are manageable with the right advice and most of all the behaviourists have skill and quantitative experience of success. As experts, we need to be especially aware of dog owners, circumstances and what they can realistically achieve. Therefore, advice, reports and practical demonstrations of mine or my associate's skills has always been a component part of my philosophy. In other words, don't tell owners to do with a dog that you, the expert, cannot demonstrate which is specifically true of dog aggression cases. Here I'm facing an aggressive dog and demonstrating to an owner what can be achieved with skill and calmness. If your dog is exhibiting any of the following behaviours, we will be able to assist you to reform your dog's negative or bad behaviours to a manageable level. An example would be separation anxiety which is where dogs are distressed when alone. This can eventually lead to prosecution if the Noise Abatement Act is used by the local council against the dog's owner. But moreover, we aim to reduce and eliminate that mind state which the dog is exhibiting, the state which causes so much stress. Dog aggression on dogs. Prosecutions against dog owners is running at a very high rate for having a dangerous dog in a public place. It's critical to learn skillful handling techniques to bring such dogs under control. And that's what we offer. Dog on person aggression is also a serious problem. It can be mild, episodic aggression like here. Whichever the type of aggression, whether dominant or fear-led aggression, the quicker we see your dog and begin to work out a full reform-based program, the better. Here are some other dog behaviours that we have dealt with. This dog objects to a lead being put on it and has bitten the owner many times. It was eventually solved. Addressing its fears and anxieties was applied. It became a lovely, well-behaved dog. It's often a lot of work and you have to be able to commit to following through good behavioural advice and all the programmes we set down. Yes, and little dogs can be problematic too. And this Pomeranian had a deep-rooted jumping up behaviour. But eventually, with dog training and understanding what's determining its jumping up behaviour and implementing an ignore programme, she eventually got the message to stop jumping up. Now toilets in your home can seem like a free watering hole for many dogs. And sometimes this disgusts dog owners. Explaining why a dog does this is half the solution to solving the problem. The dog is hopelessly free from guilt. And we can set other measures to help with this sort of behavior. Children love dogs, but on occasion they can clash for many reasons. Sometimes a fearful dog doesn't like children. Others about introducing a newborn baby. Advice is critical in these cases, because we don't want dog bites. House puppy training can go wrong for a variety of reasons. And at my centre, experts will quickly set down programmes to help teach your new puppy where you wish to establish its toileting. Now, older dogs with embedded toilet problems are often more difficult. They too can be worked on and we can change their behaviour with our expert advice and give that dog the best chance of becoming clean. Predatory aggression. Dogs are natural hunters, being carnivores, chasing ducks, horses, other livestock. This is normal dog behaviour but in society, unacceptable. We can set down rapid training courses, which will include obedience, to habituate your dog to accept all these different animals. And where the behavior is intense, perhaps a long-term recall and obedience training program combined. 
The least you can expect is a training program that puts you in control. I hope this film has been informative and entertaining and given you an example of what we have dealt with for over three decades. Dog behaviour, dog knowledge and education. Give us a call or write us an email if you want any more help. And thank you for listening.